Hey guys, welcome back to another yoga practice. Today we are doing a really chilled out, slow, stretchy, delicious flow. So let's go ahead and dive in. When you're ready, feel free to pause the video if you need to get set up, get some blocks, maybe be helpful in this practice, a bolster to get really nice and comfy by the end, or you don't need anything at all. So to each their own, find what you need, leave what you don't. But when you're ready, come into a seated position. You can be as so with the legs crossed. You can sit the hips back down towards the heels, whatever feels best. Either way, find me in a seat. Closing off the eyes. Palms facing up. Rooting down through the sit bones. Getting nice and tall through the spine. Reaching out through the crown of the head. Starting to just notice the breath first and foremost. Not changing anything quite yet, but just noticing your inhales noticing your exhales and how your breath feels flowing throughout your body. Is it deep? Is your breath shallow, maybe focused more into the chest? Is your breath slow? Is your breath fast? Just recognizing that, seeing where you're at And then from there, slowly deepening the breath, taking the inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth, let it go. Inhaling. And exhaling. Three more breaths like so in your own breath timing. That's totally fine if it's a little bit different than mine. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more breath here. Inhale, fill up those lungs. Exhale, we let it go. From here, if you can, keeping the eyes closed, we're gonna interlace all 10 fingertips here and just take some circles on the wrists. A few moving in one direction, rolling out the wrists, and a few moving back the other way. From here, again, keeping the eyes closed or feel free to open them if you'd like. We're gonna bring the hands to the hips, take some big shoulder rolls, moving backwards. Feeling those shoulder blades just move down the spine. And we'll move them forward. From here, if you haven't already, just gently fluttering the eyes open. We're gonna drop the left fingertips to the mat. Inhaling here, sweep the right arm high. So we're getting this nice expansion down the right side body. Option to keep the left arm straight or take a bit of a bend to get a bit deeper here. Inhale back through center, exhale, swap it out. Right fingertips drop, left arm sweeps up and over. And we're taking a little float here. So inhale, right arm sweeps high. Exhale, we swap. Inhale back through center, exhale, sweep high. Inhale center, exhale, opposite side. Let's go two more each way. Inhale center. Exhale, inhale, center, exhale, inhale, center, exhale, inhale, center, exhale. From here, coming back through center and slowly making our way to all fours, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, tuck those toes and just get a little shift side to side to begin.
coming back to that neutral spine as we inhale here chest lifts we arch the spine and exhale press up the shoulders round out through the spine inhale here chest lifts we arch and exhale we round two more here inhale here chest lifts we arch exhale press through the shoulders round out through the spine inhale here chest lifts we arch and exhale press through the shoulders round out through the spine coming back to that flat back neutral spine big toes together knees wide sinking the hips back down to the heels for a wide leg child's pose arms slide maybe even a bit further out long than you normally would forehead melts down inviting some extra length through the side bodies here coming back into breath inhaling through the nose exhaling through the nose option here to engage ujjayi breath which is that slight constriction in the back of your throat as you exhale that slow audible oceanic type breath almost feel like you're pulling your breath along the back of your throat One more breath. From here, tenting out the left fingertips, and we're just gonna slide, lifting up just slightly, threading that right arm through, dropping the right side of the head down to the mat here. Inhaling and exhaling next inhale we unravel tenting out right fingertips thread the left arm through drop the left side of the head down to the mat inhaling exhaling next inhale sends us back through center from here palms flat we're gonna slide those fingertips out long hips pull high the chin and chest can drop to the mat but they don't need to either way this extended puppy we're getting this expansion through the front body shifting the gaze between the thumbs toes can actually stay untucked here one more breath inhale as we exhale walking those palms back towards you knees under hips tuck those toes fly it back first downward facing dog of practice take a moment to find some stillness inhale here exhale we let it go from here starting to take some pedals out of the feet little shake of the hips side to side finding some nice movement that feels good here in your first down dog maybe even a shake or not of the head yes no from here on your next inhale we're gonna sweep the right leg high exhale bend the knee open up through the hip Taking a few hip circles here, moving one way and a few moving back the other way. From here, we're going to extend the right leg, square the hips, point the toe and exhale. We are going to plant that right foot right back down. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, bend the left knee, open up through the hip. Take a few hip circles here, moving one way and move it back the other way from here re-extend the leg point the toe square the hips drop the left toes back down inhale fill up exhale let it go from here as we inhale we're gonna round out the spine 
And as we exhale, bend the knees, arch the spine, sink the hips back down to the heels, making your way back to your downward facing dog. We're gonna do that about four more times. Inhaling, rounding out the spine, high plank. Exhale, arch the spine, tailbone lifts, belly drops, knees come to a hover, sinking the hips back down towards the heels and straighten out the legs downward facing. Inhale, round out. Exhale, arch, bend knees, downward facing. Inhale, round out. Exhale, arch, bend knees, sink the hips back down to the heels, downward facing, one more here. Inhale, round out the spine. Exhale, arch, knees to a hover, hips back down to the heels, deep bend, straighten legs, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, take as much of a bend in the knees as you need to here to keep the palms flat as we walk those hands all the way to the back of the mat to meet the feet. From here, a nice generous bend in the knees if we haven't met one already, grabbing opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy. Ragdoll, getting a nice sway side to side. Inhaling and exhaling. Two more breaths here. On your next exhale, fingertips drop, walking your way all the way back down to our downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, we let it go. Inhale, sweeping that right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, we crunch it in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to nose, crunch it in, stepping that right foot through, dropping the left knee down, untucking the left toe. From here, right palm coming to the right knee, shifting gaze up towards the ceiling. So really sinking that weight up and through that front hip. So nice big stretch down the right hip, left hip flexor, front of the left hip, and a little bit of a chest lift and spinal twist here as well. Two more breaths. Every inhale creates space for your body. And every exhale allows you to just get a little bit deeper into that space, relax just that little bit more. From here, coming back through center, framing the foot, tucking under through the left toe, pulling the left, the right knee into nose, crunch it in, left leg straightens, right knee drops to right wrist, left knee drops, untuck the left toe, coming into your pigeon here. So we can stay up on the palms, drop down to forearms, or place one hand on top of the other and perhaps drop the forehead all the way down. Either way, here for four cycles of breath. Settle in. Slowly, if you're down on the forearms, or if the forehead's all the way down to the palms, coming all the way back up to the hands, tucking under through the left toe, straightening out through the left leg, pull the right knee into nose crunch it in, stepping that right foot back, high plank, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, we're gonna go for the opposite side. Exhale, let it go. A little movement before we do as we inhale, snaking the spine over, high plank. 
Exhale, arch bend the knees, downward facing, we press back two more. Inhale, snake the spine over high plank. Exhale, arch bend knees, sink back, downward facing. Last time, inhale, snake the spine over high plank. Exhale, arch the spine, bend the knees, sinking the hips back down to the heels and downward facing, we straighten legs. As we take our next inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, crunch it in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to nose, crunch it in. Step that left foot through, drop it down to the right knee. Left hand coming to left knee, untucking the right toe. Shifting the gaze up towards the ceiling here. Here for two breaths. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Coming back through center, frame the foot, tuck under the right toe, straighten out the right leg. Left knee to nose, crunch it in. Left knee comes to the left wrist, drop it down. Untuck the right toe, right knee drops, pigeon. Landing on the palms, the forearms, or dropping it all the way down to the forehead. My suggestion is to play around if you had one palm on top last time, to swap it out. Two more cycles of breath here. From here, slowly start to come back to the palms, walking them back towards the body, tuck under the right toe, pulling the left knee into nose, crunch it in, stepping it back high, a plank, threading it back downward facing, inhale here. Exhale, dropping it down to the knees, keeping the toes tucked, knees about hip distance apart or so, sinking the hips back down to the heels. And we take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rounding out the spine. Option to round straight through your tabletop or engage the glutes, tuck the tailbone, coming into your up dog or a high cobra or a sphinx here. And then from here, keep those glutes engaged, keep the toes tucked. We're gonna arch the spine, sinking the hips all the way back down to the heels. We're gonna go for four more here. Again, option to land in your table or pushing all the way through your up dog. Inhale, round out the spine. Exhale, engage the glutes, tuck the tailbone, hips sink down. And then arch back. Inhale, round out. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, press back. Exhale, sinking hips all the way back down to the heels. Inhale, round out. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, table. Exhale, sinking the hips all the way back down to the heels. Again, totally fine if your breath timing is a little bit different than mine, honor that. Inhale, round out. Exhale, hips pull through. Inhale, shoot through, table. Exhale, sinking the hips back down to the heels. Inhale, shoot forward, table. Crossing the ankles over each other, sinking the hips all the way back down. Feet pull through, option to scoot forward on your mat if you need to. And we're really gonna start to chill things out now. So feet flat, knees bent lower all the way down. From here, knees pull into chest, getting a little rock on the spine. Arms can open to a T or a cactus. Maybe taking some circles on the lower back here. And then knees shift over to left, head shifts over to right, starting to wind down pretty quickly here. Mostly slow and stretchy today, a little 
bit of heat and spice. Inhale here. Exhale, shifts those knees back through center over to right, head shifts to left. Exhale, arriving back through center, coming into an open Shavasana or Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles the feet together, knees wide, arms extend out long. We're going to take a big roll down of the shoulders to create space for the head and neck. A little lift of the chin to create some length down the front of the throat. Relax the hinge of the jaw. Let the Fingertips curl in towards the palms, settling into some stillness. So more cycles of breath here. And if you have the time and the space and the capacity to linger here a bit longer, I highly encourage it. But this is going to be where I leave you for today. So when you are ready to make your transition out, make it sweet, make it slow and take your time with it. For today, this is where I will leave you. Thank you so much for being here, for practicing with me today, and I look forward to moving and flowing with you so, so soon. Namaste.